Disclaimer, this video is intended only for mature audiences. What's up, savages? I'm Kyle Smiley here for Savage Brick Gaming, back with some more gaming content. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 deadliest plane crashes that were caught on camera. Plane crashes are getting rarer and rarer, and each time a new crash occurs, it makes another crash that much less likely. Very few plane crashes are caught on video. In order to be eligible for this list, the plane has to be seen crashing either on video or in a picture. Simulations and aftermath videos don't count. Number 10. Aero Mexico 498, August 31st, 1986. This was a mid-air collision between a DC-10 and a Piper Cherokee. The small Cherokee plane and the FAA were found to be jointly at fault. The passenger plane was not at fault. Kramer, the pilot of the Cherokee, was not in contact with ATC and got lost. He entered LAX's terminal control area, which is restricted airspace. This photo was taken of the passenger plane as it fell. This crash is thought to have inspired the mid-air collision scene in the Breaking Bad Season 2 finale. The air traffic controller in charge of the passenger plane is even named Walter White. As a result of the crash, all light aircraft were required to carry Mode C transponders. As a result of these new changes, this was the last mid-air collision in U.S. history. Number 9. Air France 4590, July 25, 2000. This was the first and only fatal crash involving a Concorde plane. This crash led to the discontinuation of the Concorde, which could fly faster than the speed of sound and the speed of the sun setting. Note, this is actually a myth. The Concorde's discontinuation was actually due to high oil prices and maintenance costs. What caused the crash? Well, right before the Concorde took off, another plane, a DC-10, took off from the same runway. This flight left debris that the Concorde then ran over, causing its landing gear to explode. Debris from that explosion caused one of the engines to explode as well. The plane was already too far into its takeoff sequence, so it had to take off. As it was taking off, this picture was taken. After the crash, all Concords were equipped with stronger tires and given reinforced fuel tanks. However, the Concorde was discontinued in 2003. Number 8, Ethiopian 961, November 23, 1996. Ethiopian 961 was a passenger plane headed from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia to Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. During the flight, the plane was hijacked. The hijackers wanted to be flown to Australia, presumably to seek asylum, but we can't be sure since none of them survived. This was the third time that the pilot, Captain Abate, had been hijacked. The hijackers were told by Abate they wouldn't have enough fuel to get there, but they didn't listen, instead deciding to play around with the controls. Bad idea. The plane eventually ran out of fuel and crashed off the coast of Grande Comore Island. Many witnesses were around and came to help in the rescue effort. Most deaths from this crash were not from the crash itself. Many passengers put their life vests on before the crash. This meant that they couldn't escape the sinking plane. Flight attendants told them not to do this, but they only gave out that command in English. Number 7. PSA 182. September 25, 1978. This was a mid-air collision between Boeing 727 and Cessna 172, in which the Boeing crashed into the back of the Cessna while approaching to land. This is similar to Aeromexico 498's crash, but happened eight years earlier and over San Diego instead of Los Angeles. The pilots actually spotted the Cessna, but lost it, at one point thinking they had already passed it. The last words recorded before the crash were, Ma, I love you, by an unknown passenger. Number 6. Pulkovo Aviation Enterprise 612, August 22, 2006. During this flight, the aircraft climbed to a height of 39,000 feet to avoid a thunderstorm. The cause of the crash was an in-flight stall caused by pilot error. The pilots disengaged the autopilot, and then, almost immediately, the plane took on a 46-degree incline, causing a deep stall from which they could not recover. There was video taken of the plane while boarding was happening. Shoot 
Самолету пал! Самолет упал! Звони, звони куда там, Минзо! In the video of the crash, the people in the background can be heard yelling, fuck, the airplane just crashed, go call somebody. Number 5, American 77, September 11, 2001. This plane was a commercial flight from DC to LA. It was hijacked by Al-Qaeda terrorists 31 minutes after takeoff, turned around over Pike County, Ohio, and turned back to DC. It crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, DC. The crash was recorded on two different Pentagon security cams, both pointed in the same direction and both synced up to record the same frames. If they were desynchronized from each other, we may have gotten a better view of the plane. Instead, what we see is in one frame the very tip of the plane, and in the next frame, the plane is entirely inside the Pentagon. This explosion was also captured on a nearby camera, bottom left, recording a parking lot, and this camera, bottom right, from a gas station, which records the sun reflecting off the plane into the canopy of the gas station. We could talk for hours about the 9-11 attacks, how they happened, and what happened as a result of them, but I have an interest in keeping this video concise. Number 4. TAM Airlines Flight 3054, July 17, 2007. This was a Brazil flight that overshot the runway and ran into a gas station right off the runway. Whoever thought it was a good idea to have a gas station next to a runway, I have no idea. This plane was forced to land on runway 35L, notorious for being difficult to land on. In fact, that very runway had had an accident the day before. As for the cause of runway overshoot, the pilot only activated the left engine brakes, not the right engine's brakes, forgetting that there was a second engine involved, apparently. This meant that the left engine was slowing down the plane while the right one was speeding it up, causing the plane to take a left turn. Here's the video of the crash. We can see the airplane as it's crashing, but not the crash itself. We can, however, see the fireball it produced from just off screen. Number three, American 191, May 25th, 1979. American Airlines Flight 191 was a scheduled flight from LA to Chicago, which crashed on takeoff due to engine detachment from improper maintenance. The left engine detached, which shouldn't have been a problem since the plane can operate on the remaining two engines. However, when the left engine detached, it also destroyed the left wing, causing the slats to retract, which the pilots were unaware of. They could have flown the plane if they were aware of that fact. As the plane was crashing, this photo was taken. Another was taken right after it had crashed. The person in charge of the aircraft was Captain Walter Lux. He had not intended to fly this particular aircraft, but he agreed to do so after being asked by another pilot. It is now apparent that this decision was a mistake, one which led to his death. Number 2. United 175, September 11, 2001 United Airlines Flight 175 was a commercial flight intended to go from Boston to Los Angeles. During the flight, it was hijacked by Al-Qaeda terrorists who had the intent of using the plane as a kamikaze missile into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. The plane had multiple near collisions before hitting the South Tower, missing Delta 2315 by a mere 300 feet. If the two planes had collided, hundreds of lives would have been saved. This was the second deadliest plane crash in history and was recorded by over 50 people and was seen by millions on live TV making this probably the most seen plane crash in human history. Number 1. American 11, September 11, 2001 This plane crash was also the result of a terrorist hijacking orchestrated by Osama bin Laden and executed by Al-Qaeda. The crash was recorded by Jules Nadet, who was recording a documentary on New York City firefighters. Here's the enhanced video. I had one. Firefighter seen on the left who looks up as American 11 is passing is Vincent Gerard Halloran. Sadly, he did not survive in the end. It was also recorded from Brooklyn by Pavel Hoava. Here's the enhanced video.
Pavel Hlava recorded not just one, but both of the plane crashes. It was also recorded by this webcam, and audio was recorded by a random news camera. What the hell was that? It sounded like a plane crash. American 11 was the deadliest plane crash in history, killing an estimated 1,700 people. The exact number remains unknown. Quick honorable mention is American Airlines Flight 87. Here we can see this toll booth camera view of the plane going down. <laughs> 